Hi friends today we will study second part of the chapter light shadows and reflections shadows when an object is placed in front of source of light it produces a shade behind it the shade cast by an object is called its shadow shadows are formed when light is stopped by an object an opaque object stops the light completely so an opaque object casts a dark shadow behind it a translucent object casts a weak shadow a transparent object does not stop any light from passing through it so a transparent object does not cast any shadow behind it a shadow is formed when an opaque object comes in the path of light and stops it an object forms shadows on the opposite side to the source of light the shadows of objects are usually similarly in outline to the objects and hence we can identify the objects from their shadows the sunlight also forms shadows of the objects which are on the ground or near the ground for example if we stand in the sun our body casts a shadow on the ground and when we walk our shadow also moves with us the shadow of an object can be seen only on a screen or a surface such as wall of a building or a ground thus to observe a shadow following three things are required source of light an opaque object and a screen let us now understand how formation of shadow takes place if you take a torch and light it in a dark room this torch will act as a source of light a sheet of white cardboard held vertically in front of the torch at some distance will form a screen now if we hold a ball in front of the torch in between torch and screen a shadow of the ball will be formed on the cardboard the ball act as an obstacle in the path of light of a torch and the shadow is formed on the cardboard screen now if we keep increasing the distance of cardboard screen from the ball the shadow of the ball becomes fainter and fainter and when the screen is at a large distance from the ball then no shadow of the ball is seen on the screen this is also the reason we do not see shadows of birds and aeroplane flying high in the sky friends sometimes the shadows of opaque objects are not seen clearly an electric bulb and a candle form sharp shadows because they are comparatively small sources of light a fluorescent tube light however does not form sharp shadows because it is a quite large source of light and since a fluorescent tube light is very long therefore some of the light from it always reaches behind the opaque objects leading to formation of a very faint shadows in fact the shadows formed by fluorescent tube lights are so faint that it is usually very difficult to see them the shadows of an object has following characteristics the shadow of an object is erect that is same side up as the object the shadow of an object is real as it can be formed on a screen the shadow is always black irrespective of the color of object and the shadow can be smaller than the object equal to the object or bigger than the object the two important differences between the pinhole image and shadows are the pinhole image of an object is inverted whereas the shadow of an object is erect and the pinhole image of an object is of the same color as the object but the shadow of an object is always black reflection of light if we throw a tennis ball at a wall then the ball bounces back similarly when light falls on the surface of an object like mirror the object sends the light back the process of sending back the light rays which falls on the surface of an object is called reflection of light when a ray of light a falls on the mirror at point o it is sent back by the mirror in another direction b and in this way the mirror reflects the light the light ray falling on the mirror is called as incident ray and the ray of light given out by the mirror is called as a reflected ray of light it is not only a mirror which reflects light most of the objects reflects light which falls on them some object reflects more light whereas other object reflects less light the objects having polished shining surfaces reflects more light than objects having unpolished dull surfaces for example a mirror reflects almost all the lights which falls on it on the other hand a table or chair having dull surfaces 
reflects only a small amount of light which falls on them and a black surface reflects almost no light mirrors an object which reflects light well is called a mirror for example a highly polished and shiny metal objects reflects light well and acts as mirror a plain mirror is a thin flat and smooth sheet of a glass having a shiny coating of silver metal or aluminum metal on one side the silver coating is protected by a layer of a red paint the glass sheet of a plain mirror offers a smooth surface this smooth surface produces a regular reflection and helps in forming a clear image the silver metal coating makes the plain mirror shiny which gives the maximum reflection of light the red paint behind the silver surface of plain mirror reduces the transmission of light through the mirror and also protects the delicate silver coating of the mirror the reflection of light in a plain mirror takes place at the silver surface inside it some of the common objects having very smooth surfaces are mirrors polished metal objects and still water surface image of an object when we look into a mirror we see our face the image we see in mirror is a reflection of us here our face is the object and what we see in the mirror is its image when light from our face falls on the mirror the mirror reflects this light the reflected light seems to come out of the mirror and we see an image of our face in the mirror there are two types of images that can be formed with light real images and virtual images real images the image which can be obtained on a screen is called a real image in a cinema hall we see the image of an actor and actress on the screen so the image formed on a cinema screen is an example of a real image the image formed in a pinhole camera is also a real image a real image is formed when light rays coming from an object actually meet at a point after reflection from the mirror a real image can be formed on a screen because light rays actually pass through it real images can be formed by curve mirror known as concave mirrors we will study this in detail in higher classes virtual images the image which cannot be obtained on a screen is called virtual image a virtual image can be seen only by looking into a mirror the image of our body formed by a plain mirror cannot be received on a screen it can be seen only by looking into the mirror so our image in a plain mirror is an example of virtual image if we place a screen behind the plain mirror we will not see any image on it there are no light rays behind the mirror the virtual image is just an illusion and hence virtual images are also called as unreal images a type of curved mirror known as convex mirror also forms only a virtual image and a concave mirror can form a virtual image only when the object is very close to it the virtual image of ourselves which we see in a plain mirror is the same side up as we are that is it is an erect image the main difference between us and our image in the mirror is that it has been reversed sideways for example our right arm appears to be our left arm in the mirror image friends let us study the characteristics of images formed by a plain mirror let us take an example of a lighted candle placed in a room in front of a plain mirror the light rays coming from the candle travel in straight lines to the mirror the mirror reflects these rays of light the reflected light rays enter into our eyes this light rays seems to be coming from a point behind the mirror to us as shown by dotted lines so we see an image of the candle in that position the image seen of a candle in the mirror is a virtual image we will now discuss the various characteristics of images by plain mirror with example of a candle the mirror image form in a plain mirror is virtual or unreal it cannot be obtained on a screen the image form in a plain mirror is at the same distance behind the mirror as the object is in front of it 
the image in a plane mirror is of the same size as the object it is neither enlarged nor diminished the image in plane mirror is erect that is same side up and the image in a plane mirror is laterally inverted that is reverse sideways with respect to object uses of plane mirrors the plane mirrors are used at home to view ourselves it is used in making periscopes and plane mirrors are fixed on the walls of certain shops to make the shops look bigger periscope the periscope is a device which gives higher view than the normal through periscope we can see the objects on the other side of a high wall without having to climb over the wall also by using a periscope a person sitting in the submarine can see ships over the surface of the sea we will now discuss the construction and working of a simple periscope a periscope consists of a long tube t having two plane mirrors m1 and m2 fitted at its two ends the two plane mirrors are arranged parallel to each other and each plane mirror makes an angle of 45 degree with the side of the tube there are two holes in the periscope tube one hole is in front of the top mirror m1 and the other hole is in front of the bottom mirror m2 a periscope works on the reflection of light from two plane mirrors arranged parallel to one another we can see the tree behind a high wall which we cannot see directly the upper hole of periscope is turned towards the object to see for example a tree so that the mirror m1 faces the tree and we look into periscope from the bottom hole in front of lower mirror m2 the light rays coming from the tree falls on mirror m1 mirror m1 reflects these rays of lights towards mirror m2 the mirror m2 then reflects the light towards the eye of a person looking into the periscope through lower hole the light rays coming from the tree enter the eyes and it is possible to see the image of a tree in a lower mirror m2 friends this was all about the last part of the chapter light shadows and reflections thank you for watching this video hope you liked it please do like share and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get notifications on the new videos thank you and all the best